Okay, so we're going to start off by using the rank formula. In order to do this, select the whole of the column and then type in equals rank dot average. Then select the range that you want to search in. In my case, it is the dichloromethane concentrations, then a comma, and then select the range for a second time. The order I want is descending order, so I'm going to put a zero in here and close brackets. And then because this is an array formula, I need to do control, shift and enter in order to get it to calculate. Now what this formula is doing, it's searching all of the values in this range and ranking them from largest to smallest. So the largest dichloromethane concentration gets the value 1 and then the second largest dichloromethane concentration gets the number 2 and etc. Now that we have our ranked values, we can put this formula inside of another formula, which is the filter formula. The filter formula is one of Excel's new dynamic array formulas. So type in equals and filter, and then the array is going to be the whole of my table. Then we're going to filter using the rank average formula that we just made. So select the whole of the range that you want to search for again, and then a comma and select it a second time. And then the order is going to be in descending order and close brackets. Now we want to find the five largest values in this range. So I'm going to be searching for ranked values which are less than or equal to five. This will give us all of the ranked values between one and five. So it will find us the five highest values and close brackets and enter. Now you can see that it has filled in the whole of the table and we have the five highest dichloromethane concentrations here and then all of the corresponding information from the table. You can also tell from the rank column that it hasn't actually sorted this information. The filter formula just shows them in the order that it finds them. In order to sort these, we need to use another formula, the sort formula. This is another one of Excel's new dynamic arrays. So type in sort and open brackets, and then the array is going to be the whole of the filter formula. And the sort index is going to be the column that we want to sort using. So in my case, that's column one, two, three, four, because I want to sort the dichloromethane concentration, so I'm going to put a four in here. Then the sort order, I want to be descending order, so minus one, because I want this to go from one to five, and then close brackets and enter. And you can see we now have the same information in here. It's just been sorted from one to five. If we want to find the five lowest values in a range, this is almost the exact same formula. So I'm going to copy this formula and then paste it down here. And the only change I need to make is inside the rank average formula, instead of the order being in descending order, I'm going to change it to ascending order. So I'm going to put a one in here. This will change it so the smallest value in the range gets ranked with a value of one, and then the second smallest gets the number two, and so on. So now when I click enter, it will show me the five lowest dichloromethane concentrations. And the ranked column here has the five highest numbers in my ranked column because this formula here is still working in descending order. And so my smallest number gets the number 27 because I have 27 data points. Now, if you don't have Excel's new dynamic array formulas, there's an alternative method for doing this, which is to use the large formula. With the large formula, the array is going to be the whole of this range here. 
and then the k value, if I put the number 1 in here, it will find me the largest value in this range. If I put the number 2 in here, it will find me the second largest number in this range. If I put the number 3 in here, the third largest, and so on. I'm going to start off with the number 1. And you can see this number here is the same as this number here. Now I want to be able to drag this formula down, so I'm going to make some changes. I'm going to start by pressing F4 to insert the dollar signs around this array so it doesn't move around when I drag the formula down. Then I want to change the K value here to be dynamic, so I'm going to do this using the row formula. If the row formula is empty, it will just tell you the number of the row that you are currently in. In my case, that is row 5, but I don't want to find the fifth largest value in this range. I want to find the first largest value, and in order to get from 5 to 1, I'm going to subtract 4. If I select all of this now and press F9, it will calculate the number 1 for me, so it will find me the first largest value in this range. However, as I drag the formula down, the row number will change, and so the value that it finds for me will increase by 1 each time. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to drag the formula down. And now you can see this column here is now the same as this column here. The next step is to fill in the rest of this table. And we're going to do that using an index match formula. So the array in this case is going to be this column here. And I'm going to press F to insert the dollar signs around this until I have the dollar signs just in front of the row number so that the row number won't change but as I drag the formula across the column will change. Then the row number is going to be the match formula and I'm going to be looking for this value here and this time I'm going to press F4 until the dollar signs are just in front of the column. So we'll continue to look in this column as I drag it across. Then the lookup array is going to be this column here, the dichloromethane concentration column, and this time I'm going to press F4 till the dollar signs are all around this array so it doesn't change at all. Then the match type I want is 0 for an exact match, and then close brackets, and then close brackets again. So what this formula is doing, it's searching for the highest dichloromethane concentration in this range, and then it's telling me the ranked value in the same row and then enter and if I have set this formula up correctly I should be able to drag it across and then down to fill in the rest of the table. So now this table here is the same as this table here. Now, if you want to find the smallest values in a range instead of the largest values, the formula for this is equals small. This is basically the exact opposite of the large formula. We're going to select this range here again, and this time the k value, if I put the number 1 in here, it will find me the smallest number in this range. If I put the number 2 in here, it will find me the second smallest number in this range, and so on. I'm going to start off with the number 1, and interestingly enough, this time this number here matches up to this number here. Because of the way I have sorted my information in this formula, this row here is actually the very smallest dichloromethane concentration, and then this row here is the second smallest dichloromethane concentration, and so on. So in order to get this to match up, I am actually going to change around the numbers here so they are in the opposite order. So they go from 5 down to 1 instead. Then I'm going to link up this formula to this cell, and I'm also going to press F4 to insert the dollar signs around this range so it won't change. Now I can drag the formula down, and you can see 
these numbers here are now the same as these numbers here. Now to fill in the rest of the table, the index match formula is exactly the same as before. So I am just going to copy this formula and control V to paste. And the only thing I need to change is to drag this down here so it lines up. Then I can drag this formula across and then down to fill in the rest of the table. And you can see that this table here now matches this table here. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to find the highest and the lowest values in a range in Excel. And that is everything.